Hey Cancer, welcome to Carmelite Readings. I'm Alexandra. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, taking a look at what's going on in your life for December 2021. What's the energy around you? What's coming in? What are you going through or experiencing um, in regards to soul lessons? If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, you guys, if this reading resonates with you, I'd really appreciate your help with hitting that like button. Um, due to COVID and having to homeschool my children for the last two years, I wasn't able to um, keep up with the algorithm and keep the postings, but now that they're back in school learning, um, my algorithm is all messed up. And if you hit that like button, if this resonates, it allows more people to view the reading and I would really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's jump right into my blessing. Um, if this reading resonates with you and you're interested in a personal reading, I do offer phone readings, a one hour phone reading, link is below, as well as emailed and or recorded emails, uh, emailed readings, and that is on my Etsy shop, and that's in the description box below as well. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for cancer in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, oh, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what soul lessons, karmic cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Cancer, I'm being shown, <clears throat> like you may feel like you keep, like no matter how many times I get up or fall down, I'm gonna keep getting up. That's what I'm seeing. I keep seeing somebody fall down and then just dust themselves off and bounce back. And I feel like this is the final time that you're gonna have to bounce back for a while. Like this is, you've learned something you're experiencing something different or a shift within your your future or your life so let's see here spiritual messages of guidance please for cancer and you may hear my kids in the background they're in the other room all right you have second chronicles 15 7. Be strong and do not give up for your work will be rewarded. Then you also have keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow. You also have Psalms 84 11, the Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. And on the back, Ephesians 3.20, glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Yeah, it's like, no matter how hard things get, you keep pushing, you keep striving because you know that if you continue to put the work in, if you continue to push forward, you're going to see some type of change or some, some type of reward is coming in for you. It's like you're so strong in your faith right now, Cancer, that you know because of who you are, what you've invested in and what you've been doing, that you're going to be okay. I do see that sometimes if you you do struggle. Forgive my son. Um, I see that you struggle sometimes with remembering that you are worthy, okay? So you're working on that. You're gaining strength or learning how to stay in alignment with the belief and the faith that everything's going to work out for you. This may have to do with expressing or communicating your truth or really standing to your word here with the blue energy for um, throat chakra. So let's see. You have the four of cups, the four of pentacles, eight of swords, six of wands, nine of pentacles, page of cups. Overall energy in the bottom of the deck is the devil. You are dealing with closing out I, I want to say family karmic cycles and a lot of you watching this are aware of this there's some type of toxic patterns or some type of toxic connection relationship that you are needing to close out yes you're recognizing the truth in regards to yourself maybe some of the decisions that you've been making um in your life you're realizing how they're actually detrimental to the path and the 
the the goal and the ambitions that you have for yourself maybe they weren't aligned they weren't matching up yeah you, you're wanting to walk away from that with the six of swords you're recognizing i feel like you're recognizing your value and your worth especially with this nine of pentacles current energy around you four of cups you're thinking about something and i feel like you're investing a lot of your time reflecting on this situation cancer reflecting on what you've been through what's been happening to help you make a decision in regards to an offer that is being presented or that you know is going to be presented to you clarify the four of cups please You have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Devil. Yeah, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so you're spending a lot of time reflecting on the past here. Um, this is something that was toxic. I feel like there was an offer or some type of message that came towards you that did not appease you. I feel like there was some type of conversation here that did not go the way you planned or you recognized through the communication how toxic this was or that maybe somebody was just kind of pulling your leg like their view of love or relationships is 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 just not the business it's not legit yeah you're you're trying to stand your boundaries here you're trying to cut yourself free from some type of bond or attachment this person could have addictions uh, you could as well because this is mutual energies, but this is about obsessions, addictions in things that are unhealthy. It doesn't have to be, you know, alcohol or drugs. This can be behavior, um, being addicted to pain. So keeping yourself in a trauma cycle, you know, um, your energy is coming through as the four of pentacles. So you are keeping to yourself. I see you not really wanting to open up or reveal very much at this time. But I also feel like you're trying to sit on what's yours and, and, and meditate. You're trying to figure out you, what is stable to you? What is stability? How do I build my own foundation? But you're struggling with letting something go. There's something that is causing you pain that you're struggling with releasing and it's causing you to lose control of the current situation around you. Or you're feeling like you're losing control. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. Two of Swords, Three of Swords, um, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, with the world, yes. You're trying to make a decision in regards to the pain that you've been in, the trauma, the heartbreak, anything that you've been in that's caused you emotional inner wounds okay and you're trying to work on them you're trying to figure everything out because you want to close out a cycle and you want to walk away i feel like sometimes you just don't know what is the right decision and the reason why you don't know what is the right decision is because there's still confusion or lack of proper communication coming from an outside source or the other person involved and i think you feel there's a lot of loyalty here or what you think is loyalty because you feel like if I can grow and if I'm healing, so can this outside source or this outside person and I don't want to leave them behind. Now that may be very specific, but that's what spirit is showing me. And I feel like that's where you struggle with making a decision. You're not sure on what decision, on what decision to make and you're at a stalemate because I feel like it's because of your loyalty to this person. But at the same time, you are trying to heal yourself, your heart, your heartbreak, your inner pain. A lot of karmic wounds coming up here. Outside energy is the Eight of Swords. So, again, going back to not having control or feeling like you're losing control in a situation, this is the outside energy towards you. This person may have isolated themselves or separated themselves. They may be very hard to get through to. This is also my jail card. So some of you may be dealing with legal issues or dealing with someone who is in jail or feels like they're in some type of mental prison. This person is going through a lot right now. There's a lot of illusions. There's a lot of pain around them. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. 
this person also feels like they can't get close to you. Look at that three cards. You have the uh, the Ten of Pentacles, mm. the Six of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. This person is at a crossroads. This person is at a crossroads. Two of Cups. The, this person has, um, sorry, this person, I am so sorry, you guys. This person does believe that you guys are connected or that you have some type of spiritual connection or soul connection to one another. But I feel like you're walking away. They feel you detaching or leaving or wanting to separate from something that they view as they're happy happily ever after their end all be all with this ten of pentacles there was a strong commitment or a strong foundation here at some point um and i do feel like they want to reach out with an apology but they're just not sure how it's like they feel you slipping away the challenge in the past between you and this person cancer was the six of wands there's a lot of ego that was getting in the way, a lot of pride, a lot of need to control something. And I don't necessarily feel like this was you, Cancer. There may have been certain areas within this connection that um, you may have felt like you needed more control in, but I feel like this was more an ego issue with the other person. Their pride was getting in the way. And it was preventing this connection or this situation from evolving and becoming successful. I feel like this connection became a burden at some point and there was some type of conflict. Clarify the Six of Wands. You have the Empress. Yeah, it was beginning. It was creating something. It was building something together. The Tower and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. It was building and creating something with one another um you know seeing how far you guys have came no matter what you've been through and being able to still build but there was i feel like there was ghosting or constant coming and leaving but this last separation really caused um an awakening for you i feel there's a lot of abandonment wounds here or especially with the devil here twice somebody's dealing with the lack of being fully connected to source fully connected to god they're lacking a spiritual relationship with their creator they're still very much stuck in karmic cycles and worldly perceptions what's coming for you next is the nine of pentacles this is you i do feel being on your own being single establishing yourself and aligning yourself with who you are and the values that you represent um some of you could be very focused on your career saving up money um whether this means to get your own place because the five of pentacles sometimes means you guys moved out you guys separated from each other but i see you doing your own thing here but again, remember, if you're doing your own thing and doing good, that's always going to draw somebody back, right? Let's see. Clarify the nine of pentacles, please. Two of cups. Yep. You're going to draw something to you. Eight of wands and the fool with the sun. Yeah, this person is, is really looking at your growth and seeing you be independent and it's attractive. You do have a message coming in in regards to commitment and love that's going to, look at that, the ten of cups and the sun and the king of cups. Yeah, it could be dealing with the water sign. It doesn't have to be. Okay, you also have Sagittarius energy here. There's something coming in that's going to bring balance and divine healing. This is taking a leap of faith with the fool here. Um, somebody could be traveling to see you, but I do feel like this is sudden and fast movement that is completely unexpected. The outcome is the page of cups. So there is an offer here. This person could be younger than you, or they may be just emotionally immature, but this person is coming forward with some type of an apology, wanting to offer you something. Clarify the page of cups, please. You have the Knight of Wands, yeah. Six of Pentacles, look at that after the five. And Strength, underneath you have the Knight of Cups. Yep, so here's Growth, <clears throat> Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups. You may still view this person as the Page of Cups, not very serious about their emotions, but they're coming in um, with a lot of strength. They've taken time to go through 
whatever you guys have been through and they're wanting to make a real change here with the knight of wands rushing in to say something to you i feel like this is about reciprocity where this person may not have been giving to this connection the way that they should have in the past i do feel like there's still some concern here for you on whether or not this person is truthful yeah you're going to have a decision to make here you're going to have a decision to make here. There were a lot of karmic ties between you and this person. I feel like it, you know, for some of you, as long as you choose to put your foot down um, and set those strong boundaries here, you may see some change with this person because we've seen the two of cups twice. But this is a crossroads for you. This is the lesson. You're needing to make a decision that's for your highest good. You're needing to use what you've learned along the way to decide if either doing this again is for you or if maybe walking away and starting a new journey to make sure that you receive what it is you deserve. Holy Spirit, please provide closing messages. Archangel Raphael, provide closing messages, please, for cancer in regards to this situation. A good night's sleep. All right, so this may have been keeping you up at night. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me relax and sleep deeply, for I know that you are guiding, healing, and protecting me while I rest. Improving health. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for comfort, comforting reassurance about this situation. So I do feel like sometimes this keeps you up at night. Um, this is something that has been concerning you, not knowing which way to go or how to make the proper decision getting a good night's rest maybe putting in your headphones at night and listening to meditations on or binaural beats on uh, youtube to help you you also have stretch dear archangel Raphael, thank you for staying by my side and motivating me to take excellent care of myself in all ways as we stretch our physical body we stretch our emotional and mental body as well our spiritual body we allow more room for light as we stretch we release darkness and all of the pent-up emotions that are stored in our body that cause blockages for us energetically on the bottom yes Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust my feelings as the accurate barometer of truth. Because you are going to be faced with making a very important decision in regards to these offers that you have coming in and closing out karmic cycles for yourself. This is a big karmic lesson for you. And it's up to you to make the right decisions. All right, I'm sending you so much love, Cancer. Thank you.